Chapter 2 Season 4, a season that many people look back on in Chapter 2. For many, this is one of the all-time best seasons, so today, let's look back on what made this season so great. The season launched on August 27th, 2020, and ended on December 1st, lasting just over 3 months. When looking back at Chapter 2, Season 2 is considered by most people the best season, but Season 4 is probably just behind it, especially if you're a Marvel fan. This was so good. So let's start with the Battle Pass, one of the best ever in my opinion. It featured many iconic Marvel characters, such as Tony Stark, which is the classic Iron Man outfit, Thor, and the OG Doom skin, as well as Wolverine as the secret skin that season. We also had Mystique, the most unique skin in the entire game, with its great ability to shapeshift into skins you eliminate. We also saw the great foil styles of the skins, where you could unlock the silver, gold, and rainbow versions after reaching certain levels that season. These were a great new addition as well. But it's not just the battle pass. The map saw huge changes with the new levitated island. This featured Stark Industries, one of the best POIs from Chapter 2. But this wasn't it. Many people have forgotten the update that we received halfway through the season with many new locations. One of the standout ones was the new Black Panther location, which featured the huge statue which had some chests around it, a really cool new area, and we also received the new Black Panther skin as well, which was great. Other new areas included Doom's Domain, a revamp of Pleasant Park, Sentinel Graveyard, which was a really cool new addition to the map, and Ant Manor with the Ant-Man theme. Even the spawn island was really cool here, with the heli carrier. The new locations this season was nothing short of incredible. But let's move on to the loot pool. We saw a few huge additions, with brand new mythics, which were quite OP. Some of the standout ones were Doom's Gauntlets, Wolverine's Claws, the Groot Ball, and Iron Man's Unibeam. A little bit crazy, but they still were quite fun to use. Also, we saw the introduction of the Stark Rifle, which has now returned in Chapter 5, and this is a great Marvel-themed weapon. We also saw a new item get added which was really rare, the Midas Flopper. This had a 1% spawn rate, and when consumed, it turned your entire inventory into legendary rarity weapons. A really cool item that was hard to catch, but if you were lucky enough to get it, then it definitely rewarded you. This season strangely feels nostalgic. It's crazy to think that this was over 4 years ago, in my opinion, the second best season of Chapter 2, a really enjoyable time. And obviously, to end the season we had the fantastic Galactus live event, with all the Avengers assembling and some amazing cutscenes. This was definitely one of the best events from Chapter 2, it was also quite interactive, and this was a great way to end a great season. So that's everything, from the amazing battle pass to the great new POIs, and the insane loot pool, this was definitely a season that we can look back on with some great memories. But for now, there's a lot more videos on screen here. Make sure to click another one to keep on watching, and I'll see you over there.